Today on our 2015 GMC Acadia, we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector. Part number is C56245. Now here's what our kit's going to look like when we get it. We've got our instructions here, a couple of shorter zip ties. We've got our dust cover that's going to cover the plug on the end. And also, I like to use this to help secure it. The relays that we'll need to put in to make everything work properly. And then this is the basic heart of the system. You've got your four pole trailer connector here. This gives us brakes, it gives us blinkers, and it's gonna give us running lights to a trailer or maybe even a cargo carrier or something like that. This is the plug that's gonna go directly into our factory plug located under the rear of the vehicle. Now a few things that I would recommend, some electrical contact grease. This is kind of a dielectric grease and it's just going to prevent water and dirt and stuff like that from getting into our plug. I'm going to be using a couple of longer zip ties than what are provided with the kit. I use these to go around the hitch to secure my wiring in place. You could attach these together but I think you're going to be a little bit short on those. And really the only tool that we're going to need for our installation just a pair of side cutters or a, a, any kind of snips that you've got, and that's just to trim off our zip ties. Now we're right here in the rear passenger side corner. You're gonna see the exhaust right here. We wanna reach right up and in, and right up here on the back side, we've got our plug. Now it's attached to the side of the vehicle with a Christmas tree fastener, which is just kind of like a push fastener. What we want to do is either get a screwdriver in behind it or just use our hand and separate that fastener. That's going to allow us to pull it down just a little bit further. We don't get a whole lot of room, but it'll allow us to pull it down a little bit further here. I'm going to use my dielectric grease. I'm going to put this right down in my plug. Now we'll just align this tab on our T-connector plug with the hump that's on our factory plug there. So we've got those lined up. We're just going to squeeze them together. And we want to hear a little click. A little click there is going to indicate that we've got a good connection. Then we should be able to pull on it without it coming apart. At that point, you can see the little push fastener on the back side. We're just going to put that right back in the hole where we got it. All right, now what I like to do, you can see this little panel area here. We're gonna take one of those long zip ties and put it all the way through. This is gonna give us the best opportunity to keep our wiring up and away from that exhaust pipe. See, it'll hang right up there nice and easy. And then we can use a couple more zip ties on our hitch there and we should be in good shape. bring our four pole down here now you know it's kind of going to be up to the customer up to you on how much of this that you need out to safely make your connection with your trailer so it won't pull out so whenever you decide on what length you need what I like to do then is just bunch up any excess of the four pole just make one loop and zip tie it and if you ever need to pull just a little bit more out you can and you won't have to reset your zip tie if you need the full length, then don't, just don't put a loop up here. Just wrap it with the zip ties. That way you get a good anchor point. You won't have to worry about pulling it down or it hanging out underneath the vehicle. Now let's grab that protective cover we talked about. This is going to slide right up on our plug. Just make a little loop here with our wiring. We'll secure it off right there. Just like that, pretty simple. And then that appearance panel that goes across the back. We can actually pop that back up into position. That'll keep everything nice and hidden for us so we won't have to look at it. Just like that. All right, now we need to pull the fuse panel off here so we can get those fuses and that re those couple of relays put into place. Just got a little push kind of clips that hold it in place. You want to push those and then it's just going to come off. Let's start with our 10 amp fuses. Those are going to be the ones that are kind of red or burgundy. 
These are going to go in four locations. The first one you can see we've got a relay here that's sitting on a block. It's going to be right behind that in the F8 position, just a little bit closer to the front of the car there. Next, if we come straight down from there, and then over a row, here we're going to have the F17 and the F21. Then we need to go all the way to the middle of the vehicle or toward the middle of the vehicle. We've got two 10 amp fuses here. I'm going to jump over that relay. Right behind that we'll have the F41. We'll put one of our 10 amp fuses in there. All right, that takes care of the 10s. Now we need to do our 30s. From the one we just put in there, if we go closer to the rear of the car, we've got a 10 amp and then there's going to be two open slots. One of them has these taller kind of legs on each side. Those are going to get the 30 amps. We've got the F34 and the F30. All right, that takes care of our 30 amp fuses. Now it's time to grab our relays. You can see the relays, they're, they're kind of like spades. They're kind of like the bottom of a fuse. We want those to be running in line with the vehicle. So we want the flat spots to be facing out. The thinner spots will, spots will face forward. And those are going to go in right here. We've got R16 and R15. Just like that. Now we can put our cover back on and we'll test out the system and make sure it's working properly. Just want to align those tabs, give it a little push down, that's all there is to it. We're just going to use our plug-in Kurt four pole tester here. Part number is I26. See it's just going to slide on like that. We'll start by turning on our running lights. Now we can do left blinker, right blinker, and brakes. Now with everything working properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector. Part number C56245 on our 2015 GMC. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.